Okay, so I've been working on this game and I've made quite a few changes, so I thought I'd just make another video. And it's only been a few days. This is why I love game making, you know. I've um, done a lot in just a few days. I've added a limit on the number of grenades that you can have. You no longer have an infinite number. I've added a life system, which you can see is on the bottom of the heads up display. I have five lives, and yeah, now those guys can destroy these barrels. And um, so I've done quite a few programming changes and also level design changes. So I'm just going to play through this level again. And also we'll play through all the other levels. Last time the, the game really looked unfinished. And honestly I hadn't worked in it on it. Yeah, I hadn't worked on it in a little while, so... <laughs> and I pl I'm playing a little stupidly here just because I'm kind of rushing through it so I can get this done as quickly as possible, but you can get through these without getting hit if you really put your mind to it. Oh yeah, now I have a, yeah, a door. You go through the door now instead of just awkwardly transitioning. And there's all sorts of new enemies. I've really done a lot. That's why I really like Game Maker. You can do a whole lot in not very much time at all. Not very much time. Yeah. I think I mentioned last time I wanted to make each level three rooms and maybe a boss room or something like that. So for the first level I've sort of done that, although it's not really done yet because one of the rooms is still just a clone of one of the previous ones. Oh yeah, those guys, if you shoot at, yeah, if you shoot at them, they throw a grenade at you. <laughs> Um, kind of scary. You should really take those guys out with a, um, with a grenade. That way you don't have a chance to throw one back at you. <laughs> and this is me failing, <laughs> me failing to put a grenade in the right spot. Come on. There we go. Yeah. So you just refill your grenades by hitting those blue rotating squares with a G on them. And this level is not done, so I gotta jump to the next scene. Exactly the same level again. <laughs> jump again, jump again, alright. This is a boss level, very unfinished. Just basically testing out the idea of having really giant bosses, basically. Just seeing what it would look like. Basically, you have to kill this guy with grenades because he's invulnerable to your bullets. That's not very clear right now. I should probably add a little animation where your bullets bounce off his body or something like that. And down there you refill your grenades because you need grenades in order to beat this. So if you run out, you need to have more. <coughs> Otherwise, the level would be unbeatable and therefore broken. And there I, I killed him. So that's all well and good. Next, this is the dock level again. You can see I've made some changes to it, but it's basically the same. Um... I'll just run through it real quick. i run through part of it real quick. And... Yeah, it's, it's basically the same as it was before. So, there's really nothing more to show here. This is a new level, a completely new one. It's still using a little bit of recycled level design, because I just copy and paste rooms and then I change them to make new ones. So, some of this might seem familiar, but it is a new room. Oh yeah, and in this level I've added a new feature. Basically there's doors that you have to open by finding the switch that opens it. There's a switch up there, the glowing yellow thing. I'll just show the door real quick. See, you can't get through the door. The only way to get past is to shoot the switch. So you just find the switch, shoot it, like that. And then there's even a fancy little camera pan down there, like a cutscene. And... You can get through. I'll just refill my health because the boss sort of kicked my ass, even though I, even though it's not even a finished boss. <laughs> not very exciting. And there's some dirt. Yeah, this is recycled. Here's this guy who throws a grenade. So just throw a grenade at him, and he doesn't get a chance to do that. So that's the best way to take him out. Otherwise, you just got to shoot him really fast and then jump out of the way of his grenade that he throws at you. Oh yeah, and there's, there's water 
new water animation. I forgot to show that off. That's in the dock level too. The previous level with the rain. I call it the dock. Um, so there's a few more of these doors. There's one over here by that row of spikes that you have to get rid of. I'll just refill the grenades. And there's nothing really up here yet. Not much going on. But there is a switch right there. And you just do this. You can't really skip this cutscene. I mean, programming the cutscene to begin with, where it opens the door like that, was kind of tricky. So making it skippable would basically be impossible the way I figured out how to do it. So whatever. This guy is funny. He's badly positioned because he throws his grenade too far. <laughs> I should probably move him back slightly. And the background here isn't really done. This is a placeholder background, basically. It's it's the basic idea of what I want to have for a background, but not really done at all. I can just take this guy out really fast and then run out of the way of the grenade. There you go. That's the other way of beating him. And we'll just finish up this level. There's one more switch. I'll just show it. Nice and quick. And you notice any recycled level design? <laughs> yeah. That's recycled. Gotta change some stuff. Alright, here I, I'm a bit of a conundrum because I have three different ideas for like tree leaf platform sprites or tiles. There's that type, there's this type, and there's this type where it's all boxy. And I'm not sure which I like the best, so I have no idea what I'm going to do. I might even come up with a fourth design, I'm not really sure. Anyway, that's the same level as before, just with different sprites. And this was the level that was completely blank before. And it, it's been improved, it has a background. And it has these obstacles for you. New enemies. New items. Oh yeah, and I've removed... Well, I haven't really moved it, but I, I'm no longer ta making use of the, um, the wall cling idea. I think it just makes you a little too powerful. And it's a little confusing which walls you could cling to and which ones you couldn't. So I just took out all them, all the clinging walls. So you can't, like, wall jump anymore. Sometimes I think too many features can sort of screw up a game, screw up the gameplay a little bit. I mean, he already has a jetpack. Why does he need to have a wall jump too, you know? I just took it out. The heck with it. So this level is basically the same as before, except half of it is no longer invisible. Last time I played this, half the level was invisible because I hadn't added any tiles yet. But now it's beatable. And there's a wall over there that'll eventually hide something, but there's nothing over there right now, so let's just skip it. And exit. And the next room in this level, which I just started, but it's not done. Check this out. Um, just as soon as I blow away this wall, you'll see it's not really done. Yeah, the grenade things sort of respawn. The health doesn't... Oh! <laughs> That's a glitch. I, I changed the health system a little bit. <laughs> I have no health and I'm still alive. I just need to yeah, touch somebody and I die. Um, I'll just have to add a death action for falling off the level. Right now there isn't one, so I'll just have to fix that little glitch. This is about the same as it was before. But uh, I did add a... Yeah, there's a, a hidden one up. This is the level last time that was on... Wait, I don't even think I had this level last time. Yeah, it's it's a burning city. I, I'm really happy with the way it came out. It was like one in a million that I would actually get the colors to look good. Because there's all sorts of transparencies and stuff. That are overlapping and they can make each other look weird when they overlap. But somehow, miraculously... The colors here look good. Oh yeah, and the, the, the actual level design is completely recycled here, and 
all that. Another new level here. This is an actual new level. I'm not going to go through it all, though. I think I'm running out of time. Oop, a little bit of lag. But uh, basically, it's a evil scientist laboratory or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this time. Um, next time I update the game, I'll update this.